What's the Order doing about the Don's men? They stop us where they can. Since they came here with their fancy white uniforms, they've never taken their eyes off us. They're just waiting for us to step out of line. Then they'll take us to the monastery. Keep your eye out for Sebastian. He's always around, watching. Waiting. <laughs> Sounds like you could use some help. We could. I have to scrape together a lot of gold for the Don. If I don't send him something soon, if I don't get some gold in, I'll have problems with my own boys. If you help me, I can cut you in for a slice. What are you offering if I do help you? Well, I'll give you gold. And I can teach you a few things too. Give a man a fish, and he'll stink for a day. Give him a rod. You want to teach me to fish? In a manner of speaking. Fish for gold. I can make a pickpocket out of you. Word to the wise. You should look to the Don. Join him before you get swallowed and pissed out by the order. Really? Tell me about Commandant Carlos. He's the Inquisitor's watchdog. His headquarters is in the guardhouse. He sits up there controlling everyone's lives. But it's only a matter of time before he pisses enough people off. What can I do? Hmm. Costa the pawnbroker's doing good business here in the gutters. He's preying on the farmers and stuffing his pockets with gold. So? What do you need doing? Since the Order has been here, he hasn't paid his dues to the Don. Hired himself a bodyguard he has and he pays the Inquisition's taxes. What about the Don's taxes, eh? Where's our slice? Someone needs to make sure we get paid. Exactly, where's my slice? I'll get your gold. Good. It's time we showed him we're still in charge in the gutters. But it won't be easy. Costa won't pay voluntarily. At least, not now he's got himself a bodyguard. How much does Costa owe? He's caused a lot of trouble. I'd say he owes 300 gold coins for that alone. You can keep half. Okay. See, I'm getting the impression you always, you're supposed to go to the swamp first and then come to the town. Because I went here the first time, and uh, the quest this guy gives is fucking hard. You have to pay a, uh, to fight a bodyguard who's, I don't know, about as strong as Craig, or even stronger. Craig from the swamp. How should I get the gold from him? I really don't care. If you give him a beating, you can probably just take it. But don't kill him. No point killing the golden goose and it will get the Inquisition on our backs. But teaching his bodyguard a lesson wouldn't hurt. Is there any advice you can give me? If you just cut loose on Costa, you'll have to take care of him and his bodyguard at the same time. It'd be better to deal with them one by one. Try to provoke them, one at a time. They start the fight, then no one will interfere. You start the fight, You'll have problems with the guards. Thanks. So yeah, uh, if I remember correctly, I think we'll actually get the ex tutorial I was about to explain. Wait, I saw you talking to Delgado. Do you deny it? No. And who are you? I am Sebastian, a warrior of the Order of the Holy Flame. And you want to be careful who you get involved with. What do you know about Delgado? He is one of Don Esteban's men. Ruthless, the lot of them. They steal, lie, and extort. Steer clear of them. What are you doing about the Don's people? Inside the town, cornering them like rats in a burrow. Outside the town, the Inquisitor is slowly choking them, starving them of men gold of food. Commandant Carlos will see the town is cleared of the Don's influence, and those left in the swamp will just wither and die. We'll finish Delgado, and the Don will follow. Why don't you just throw the Don's men out of the town? We've tried. 
They get back in. We don't know where or how. So now we'll use them. Finish them where they stand. You'd better decide whose side you're on. You want to be a rat or a rat catcher? What's in it for me if I help? It will stand you in good stead if you'd like to go to the monastery. Our commander appreciates help, and the monastery can train you as a mage or as a warrior of the order. It would be your choice, and of course you will receive a reward. How high is the reward for Delgado? One hundred gold pieces. How can I help you? I need to know what Delgado is planning. He's careful. He knows I'm following him, but he is up to something. Since you have spoken to him, maybe you can find out for me, and we can block up another of the Don's rat holes. Yeah. Nope. <sighs> Basically, uh, if I remember correctly, there's uh, five men of the Don in the town. Each one will have a quest. You can betray each one to Sebastian. Although, I think after three, you'll be... S basically, you'll be delegated as either with Sebastian or uh, with Delgado, if you do three quests for any other one. Uh, so, my plan, just like the first time I played, is to do two quests for Delgado. Basically, his quest, which will uh, unlock him as a pickpocketing trainer, which I'm gonna need, and someone else, I don't know who, I can't remember and then the next three just turn them over to Sebastian that way you get the maximum experience and credits and quest done and continent follow most importantly now I need to rest before I challenge that bodyguard to a fight Elias that's Costa he's an asshole What do you want? A bed. Can I get a bed? Is that a water barrel? Yes, it is. <clears throat> yeah, I'll uh, come back when I'm done drinking all the water. <laughs> okay, I also saved. I could talk to everyone, but I think Fuel is the one we're looking for. Do I need to load this? Without anyone commenting, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, in the long run, I want to join the Warrior of the Orders. They're like paladins, they can uh, fight with melee weapons, they have good or very good armor. And they also can cast limited spells, but good uh, enough that actually worth it. As opposed to a mage, you can only cast spells and not fight very well. Or the Esteban's men, who are all basically just fighters. <laughs> you have nothing there, Fuller. Hey, do you work here? Sure do. If you're looking for somewhere to kip, just go upstairs. Pay Costa after. Isn't it a bit odd to pay afterwards? Don't ask me. I don't bring the business, I just bring the muscle. Oh, he's the muscle. He's the nice muscle guy. Why is muscle needed? Costa doesn't want trouble. Trouble with whom? Guests looking for a free kip, or anyone who wants to play silly buggers. Silly buggers? You work for Costa? Yeah, gotta get gold where you can. Not much to be had down at the arbor. No ships means no work. So yeah, as you can see, he has armor, he has the shield I have. He has a bat, but yeah, he's, he's, he's dangerous. So, you're paid muscle? Better than an unpaid muscle. As I said, the first time I encountered him, I think I was level 4. Basically, I just did the quests around the farm, the monastery farm, the novice farm, and then went right in. And he kicked my ass for a couple of times before I, you know, grinded him slowly with my stick. Come on, then. I could do with a bit of combat practice. You what? You want to fight me? Here? Yeah, let's go. Sure, why not? Don't have anything better to do. Let's get this over with! No, 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 wrong way to go. I've got to see this. 
See how much hit points he has. Uh, Come on, you fucking like lettuce! Ah, uh, goddamn it. Uh, uh, My um, side uh, screen. Stick the they're not really working. Uh, until they work. Hey, thanks for the club. Eh, there's nothing interesting, but yeah. Ah, God damn it! Do me a favor, mate, and don't let Costa know you can fight like that, or I'll be out of a job. I don't need to tell him, or are we gonna have another problem? No, I might be paid for muscle, but that doesn't mean I don't have a brain. Good man. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take on Costa and bully him into submission. Also, I may be wrong, but shit, wrong button. <laughs> but uh, after we beat him, we can sleep for. I'm Costa. Welcome to my little part of the island. If there's anything you need, anything at all, I can get it. Usually. Your goods are much too expensive. If you haven't got the gold, then stop hassling me. I can't stand Explosion. beggars. <laughs> so I could have gotten twenty-five gold or three hundred. <laughs> ah shit, I screwed up. Screw the quest up. Ah, damn it. And then I quick saved over it. So, um, yeah. Don't loot the bag. <sighs> Shit. I'm gonna have to fight that guy again. Hey! Sure do. Pike. Blah, 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 blah. Why, blah, 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 blah. Click, 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 click. So yeah, come on. Come. Yes, let's go. Yeah. Sure. Let's get this over with. Ah. Ah. You can see ah. it again. He's fairly good with his stick. Give us a show. Come on, fella. Do me a fuck. I don't need. No, that does. You. Thank you. As you can also see, you don't get to root everybody. Pickpocket, I mean, pickpocket, goddammit. Okay, let's not screw this up. I'm cost. If there's any. What do you sell? Weapons? Potions? Jewelry, scrolls. If you need it, hell, I can even get you a bed. Where do you get your wares? Since there's nothing coming into town, I sell stuff we still got inside. Like what? Times are tough. People got to find a way to get by. Quite a few folks want to sell their possessions for some solid coin in their hands. So you prey on people's poverty? Hey. No one's forcing them to sell their stuff. If they wish to trade their family heirlooms for a hot meal, I'm the man who helps them. I'm a charitable man, just like Bill Shaw. They'd be sleeping in the gutter without me. Anywhere around here I can sleep? It's not a good idea to spend the night in just any old bed. That's asking for trouble. But I have a couple of beds on the upper floor. I don't ask much. Just 30 gold coins. They're safe. Peaceful, and you won't wake up with lice in your hair. Yeah. So, um, 
Let's save here. Pickpocket him since I'm not sure I'm gonna get the option after I beat the crab again. Your goods are much too expensive. If you haven't got the gold, uh, then stop hassling yeah. me. 25 I gold can't pieces. stand beggars. Now Delgado is waiting for his gold. Delgado is waiting for his gold. Then he's gonna have to wait a long time. I'm not paying. Delgado won't like that. Is that a threat? Please. You won't pay? Is that your final say? It really wasn't very smart to get involved with a man like Delgado, you know? You'll see that soon enough. There's no Don here anymore. The Order controls this place. So, no payment. And yes, that is my final say. Fine. Then I'll take the gold. We'll see about that. Fuller! I've already dealt with him. Fuller. Worthless sack of bones. You want to make things personal? You want it, you come and take it. Hope you're ready for this. I've got to see this. Ah. 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 Your bodyguard couldn't beat Swing me. Like a man. Thank you. Yeah. You think you can take me on? Ah. Come on! You teleporting bastard. Ah. Lost the sword. I'm gonna save here and then ask for his money. In case you know. You're nothing but a lousy thug. Well, that hurt. Give me Delgado's gold. Well, I'm not gonna hope you're ready for this. Again! Yeah! Yeah! Again! Ah! Ah! Yes! yes. Well, Useful if work, I could find coins if I wanted. There you go. First stack, first stack, first stack. You're nothing but a l come to gloat, have you? Stealing gold from an honest businessman who's just trying to help folks get by. I did warn you. We've all got to make a living, I guess. So, let bygones be bygones, eh? Well, if it means you'll be spending some coin with me, then I'll oblige. Yeah. Bygones be bygones. Let's give this thing back. I got the gold from Costa. That will calm a lot of nerves. Nothing like a golden gleam to make people relax, eh? Here's your share. I'll tell Scordo what you did for us. What? Tell me about Scordo. I shouldn't really have mentioned his name. Best not to ask too many questions. That means he's the Don's man here. Where can I find him? Clever one, aren't you? You can't find him. He's in hiding. He'll find you when the time comes. And not another word about him. Neither you nor I know that name. Got it? Well, I guess one out of four. That's weird. What do we do now? If you want more work here, you can try to collect from Josh. Not that profitable. But you have to take what you can get. Besides that, Keep your ears open. You're bound to pick up on some opportunities. What can you teach me? I keep my word. If you want, I'll teach you to be a good thief. A yeah, good little thief. I want to be a better thief. Yep. Five points, which I don't have. Dexterity, which I don't have. Ah. <sighs> So, you must have other business to attend to. Well, I do. Seriously, nobody's watching their wares around here. I'm just picking shit up. What do you have for sale? Let's trade. He has officer coat. For naval, for limited. How much? 200 gold. 
10, 10, 10, 5, 5, 5. Well, mine's better. I'm curious how it looks, but not that curious. Have uh, might as well get what we'll need in the future. So this, all this. Keep those for now. Probably can I have it? So I don't have a hammer. Oh, hammer. And another hammer. You know, getting shield in advance, everybody. Nah. We are gonna save those. I have 767 gold pieces. That's good. <coughs> Please, take a look around. Are you looking for anything special? A pan, cast iron, or a necklace? If you're hungry, we have potatoes. We grow them ourselves. Have a look at everything I offer. That's a lot of different wares for a merchant. I'm not a merchant. I'm a farmer. Was, till the ruins came. Lost my farm. You look like another refugee. Word to the wise. Stay away from Costa. Costa? Who's Costa? He's a swindler. After everything people have lost, he's trying to take the rest. He forces people to sell their goods for less than they're worth, then resells them. Help another refugee, will you? Have a look at my goods, not the stuff he's pushing. Why don't you sell your goods somewhere else? We're not allowed. They won't let us into the merchant's district. The Inquisition talks about law, keeps us here, then lets these scoundrels run things. We don't have enough gold to buy the goods the merchants offer. So the white robes chase us off. For a lot of us, the only thing left is Costa. He's the only one who'll buy. What can you tell me about the town? Well, there are three districts. The gutters here, that's the street above the harbour. Farther down by the water is the harbour district. That stretches from the lighthouse to the warehouses and the prison at the end of the quay. The rich bastards live in the merchant's district. That's where the main gate of the town is. See, yeah, well, apparently, yes, see, yeah, well, apparently is a word. <laughs> so apparently, this one is going to shit fast. <laughs> Tell me about the merchant district. If you're looking for goods and have enough gold, there's a lot of merchants around the square at the main gate. But try here first, yeah? If we refugees don't support each other, who else will? Tell me about the harbour. They say the gutters isn't reputable. Go down there, you get drunk sailors, a tavern and a brothel. People aren't as willing to spend gold as they used to. With the storms, the sailors are stuck here and bored. But if you're looking for pleasure, that's the place for you. You find a lot of stranded fishermen and workers at the warehouses. One of the buildings was confiscated by the order. Don't know what they're storing there. Anything else? Well, the order seized the old harbour master's office and set up a slaughterhouse there. If you have enough gold, you can buy meat. With gold and meat, you'll also find guards. Tell me about the gutters. The gutters are everything above the harbour. Home to the unlucky, unloved, farmers and refugees. Master Belshaw has set up a soup kitchen at the end of the road. He's a mage from the monastery, one of the order. But at least he's looking after us. And there's Flavio, a merchant. He has his business at the end of the gutters, next to the shrine. And if you want a beer, go to Josh. He has a small tavern here. Let me see your goods. Well, he has eggs. Get all six of them, that's uh, about the experience. Necklace, don't use potatoes. Uh, bag of spices, bread, onions. Let's get the bread. Well, let's get two breads. Get some onions. Onions we need. Raw meat. I don't have any raw meat anymore. And bag of spice. 
Nope. We are good. Nice help for fellas isn't he? Townswoman, farmer, farm wife, I mean farmer wife, I assume. Farmer wife. <coughs> Right. Guessing this one's I'll have to pick this or find the key. Yes. Yeah, okay. Hey, wait a minute. Don't walk by. Try the best fish in town. This is your lucky day because I have one perfect piscine offer for you. You do. Buy one fish and get a second fish completely <laughs> free. Two fish for the price of one. Sounds like a good deal. pretty talky for someone who sells fish. Well, I figure the longer I keep someone talking, the more chance they have of buying some fish. I never should have bought this lousy fishmongers. I was with this wench. She said she liked fish, and then... Oh, before you know it, I've bought this thing. I mean, I don't know my herring from my halibut. And with the storms, there aren't even many fish being caught. Why don't you sell the store, then? Do you want it? Why would I want a fish stall? See? That's what I should have said to myself. <laughs> but that wench was so very beautiful. What sort of fish do you have? Everything the sea can provide. Herring just caught and placed so fresh it doesn't even know it's dead yet. Is that all? No. I also have shark. A nice shark steak will revive the weariest spirit. And you look like you could do with that. Too risky. Damn. Is there anything I could do to help? Well, you could find someone who wants to buy this stall. Ideally, someone who knows about fish. How much do you want to sell your stall for? Hmm. Well, including all the goods, let's say 300 gold pieces. Maybe I don't need a fish stall. <laughs> I'll find you a buyer for your stall. Wonderful! Might be handy if you look for someone who is drunk, or crazy, or loves fish. I'll keep that in mind. I have faith in you, my friend. Here, have a shark steak on the house. Where do you think I can find a buyer? If I knew, I'd have asked them myself. Maybe the harbour? The tavern? You could ask the fishermen. At least they'd know about fish. Show me your fish. You actually want to buy some? Well, don't forget, it's two for one. Meh. Oh, he gave me a short take. Experience. Woo. Okay. I'll do anything for experience. Anything. Really anything all these eggs raw. Yeah. I got strength plus one. I'm eating an egg. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm glad I got strength plus one. I'm uh, 200 experience short of another level. And then I can get pickpocket. One and uh, two and three should be good enough. Fin. Uh, yeah, this is... We're gonna be spending a lot of time here, it looks like it. Hello, how are you? Nelson. Ahoy! Come to see me, have you? No. Too risky. I need a map of the island. Why? Surely you've heard it's illegal to leave the town. I have. Well, I'll draw you a map if you want. You could use it for decoration. How much do you want for the map? It'll be a fair price. I'll let you know when it's completed. 
How long will that be? A good map can't be hurried. Especially these days when the terrain itself keeps changing. But for anyone who knows how to get out of the town, my map would be very useful. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna need that since my map is uh crappy. Only shows part of the island. Doesn't show this, yes, this, this. 